Kate's not your regular co host of the show. That's right. Why doesn't she co host? <laughs> I'm Rather than me. Now. It'd be, right? It'd yeah, be much better a, than me. No, we all agree with that. Yeah, I know that. How you been, Kate? Good. How are you? Have you ever met the governor before? I have not. No, we haven't met. Have you ever heard of the governor? I have heard of you the have. governor. Well, you have. Yes. Well, and when, yes. you, when you hear of Chris Christie, uh, have you heard go. good things or bad things? <laughs> Oh, God, here we go. I've what? seen memes online. Yeah, that's not good, right, Jeannie? Thank you, Jeannie. Very nice. Those memes are never good. You know, and meanwhile, funny. I was the guy, I was funny, the guy who was, like, talking up Jeannie this morning, wasn't I? She, I asked if she ever saw it. She was, yeah, she's seen the memes, the memes of you. No, but I mean, they're never I know, complimentary. And then, well, they're never complimentary. They're never like, look at this handsome guy. And then guy she was, like, smiling face. and chuckling, and it's like, this is it. This is where my life goes. If it's and entertainment, at least, it's a good thing. I guess, yeah. you, I guess you know what right. I tell the governor all the time? Oh, here we go. It's better to be relevant, even in a negative manner. Right. You know, unless there you, you go. commit some terrible crime. All publicity crime, is good but publicity. people know exactly. who the man is. Exactly right. I mean, he, he had lunch with the president the other day, and now that the girls are here, and yeah. of course, SI Swimsuit uh, is out, and they're, they're both in it, and uh, it's great. We'll get to that in a second. I think we all want to know, when you have lunch with the president, yes. what do you eat? Well, there's a, there's a menu. Is there, like, they come over there and here's your menu for the day, or can you say, I want lasagna? You could do both. You can. Basically, what he explained to me was, here's the menu, but if there's something else you want, just you tell them and it. they'll make it. Uh, so did you order off the menu, or do you go? Could, well, here's the or here's what I go crazy. Let me just truffles. say this is right. Yeah, this is what it's like to be with Trump. Go ahead. Okay, he says there's the menu. You guys order whatever you want, and then he says, Chris, you and I are gonna have the meatloaf. He tells you what you're eating. Yeah, and I said, well, oh. we're gonna have the meatloaf, and he said, I'm telling you, the it's, meatloaf is fabulous. Did you have the meatloaf? I did. It's emasculating. No, it's not. Another man tells you what you're eating, you eat it? Not acceptable. I don't care by, who he is. By the but way, it's the president. It is the president, A. And the president said, you're eating the meatloaf. Wouldn't you be like, I'm an adult, I'll get what I want, thank you? I would, I would go along with his recommendation. you get the meatloaf. Yeah, I, I mean, the guy eats there all the time. So, you would think, and the meatloaf was good. It was good. Now, my meatloaf. wife didn't go with the meatloaf, but he didn't suggest the meatloaf to my wife. Well, because he's not going to tell your wife what to eat because right. it's disrespectful. He's known her wife. for, no, he's known you her for a long time. You tell your wife what to eat. No, I don't. And secondly, he's known her for a long time, so he, he could have told her if he wanted to, but he didn't. Nice. Did, did you order anything off the menu that wasn't on the menu? That was on the menu. See, Kay and I the same. I'd be like, let me have some uh, truffles on some linguine. I yeah. want some imported olive yeah. oil. And mm -hmm. uh, I want I want you to milk a sheep in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Special reserve wine. Yeah. I did I did say they had no soup on the menu. No soup. And I said, is there Complaints. some soup? Did you ask for a complaint box? I didn't, Sorry. but I said, is there some soup? And, did, and, the, and the waiter said, well, we have a few soups back there. How humiliating. That's embarrassing. And so he gave me the potato leek soup. Oh, you're so bougie. Anyhow, <laughs> you, Kate, how many Sports Illustrated is this for you? This is my fifth. Fifth. Yeah, and wow. It's every year it's better and better. Or like, do they call you way in advance and your agent says, hey, great news, they picked this again? Or how does that process work? Um, no, every year is kind of different when I found out throughout the year because they shoot, you know, I mean, really, like after Monday, the team at Sports Illustrated like tears down their wall and starts all over Them and starts next planning year. the next year. So you could shoot a month from now or you could shoot in January. But you know you're shooting for that edition or in theory could they use the pictures for, you know, a random October? No, no, no. Yeah. You know when for you're, the magazine. Yeah, you're only shooting for Got that it. edition and then it's all top secret so you can't And Jenny, you don't come from the world of modeling per se. No. You're you're you happen to be a, a great athlete who looks great. So, you know, they always do, you know, attractive athletes. I think Thank is you. Venus Williams topless in this one or Serena? Serena's in it. Serena's yeah. in it. I think with she went like full on, right? I mean, with, like, I, mean I did too. Well, I mean, most of us did. Yeah, but <laughs> Serena. <laughs> you're not Serena Williams if I may say you that respectfully. When they come to you, though... I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. Do you well, know what that means, Jeannie? I, mean, I have an idea, like, but... Williams is one of the, you know, we should all be successful, sir. You can make the argument Serena Williams is the single most dominant athlete, man or woman, of the last 25 years in any sport. Okay. That's how great she is. That's year. possible. Yep. So here's my question for you. Jeannie, you ever beat her? I got to set off her one time. Good. Never oh, beat her. That, never, that's a win. You should That is a win. But then she whooped me the next two sets, and I forgot about the set I won, and I was <laughs> no, like, oh, my God. Terrible mistake nice. there. Okay. You beat her in that first set. You drop the racket like it's a microphone. You walk off. Say, we're done. <laughs> yeah. You'd be a legend. Stop. In things. You're like, Whatever happened to that woman that beat Serena and walked off the court? You'd get a yeah. book deal. It'd be great. <laughs> you get here's next my, time. Next here's time. my last question. When they come to you and they say, listen, we respect you as an athlete. And then, and then you work your ass off to get to the level you get to. Now we want you to do this. Was there any trepidation at all where you're just self-conscious? I don't want to take my shirt off. I don't want to do that. Or are you like, I, SI, if I'm in. 
I have followed the magazine for years, so for sure I was like, I'm all in. I'm, I'm finally, I'm in it. You know what I mean? But um, uh, the day of the shoot, I was obviously a little bit nervous, and we started really early in the morning. I was in Turks, and I get out and uh, I go to fittings, and and she's like, okay, first shoot, six a.m. Uh, you're you're not wearing a top. And I was just like. You might as well just go right at it, right? So Welcome the nerves disappeared after that. Were and you like, <laughs> uh, Kate said to us once, did you at least say, well, where's the guy with the paint and the brush? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I was happy I wasn't doing body paint, at least for the first time. Um, but still, I mean, you know, there's a crew of like 20 people around you and men, women of all ages, everyone. And at the end of the day, you're kind of just like, everyone's seen everything. I don't like even care anymore. You drop it pretty quick. Like this, the, the sensitivity of now I'm naked. Completely. There's 37 <laughs> people there, and they, they don't give a right ass if you're naked or they not. They don't even care. They like, don't even care. Like, you're in that man. Like, <laughs> the, the men that read the magazine, like, oh, 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 oh <laughs> page, four, page 43, Bob. Let me just take a little no, no, no page. <laughs> right? Now, did you do the body paint again? I did not do body paint, no. You did not? No, I think they did the model search girls or body paint this year, so you have to vote the body paint girls into the issue next year. And what do you do the oh. rest of the year? Are you just doing photo shoots and runway stuff? Like, Different photo this... shoots and, yeah, traveling, modeling. And last time you were here, I remember we talked about your social life, and you were having a tough time with the, with the guys, and no one would ever come and approach you and chat with you, and I wonder, <laughs> like, a year later, if... <laughs> yeah. She was surprised by this. Well, I wonder if a year later, if things have gotten better for you in that regard. Um... I have a great social life. So many friends. <laughs> great <laughs> answer. <laughs> Girls go out in groups. Guys go out in groups. We're like, you know, we have no chance. Girls go out in groups because it's more fun that way, right? Chris, what Chris doesn't go out at all. Well, you've been married for 31 years. You've, yeah. like, you've no game at all. <laughs> That's you really know. nice. Like your best How do you game know? Guy. What's your best pickup line? I don't, I don't know. know. I've been you got game or what? No, I have no game at His all. best pickup line was that he was a backup third baseman for the Philadelphia That was Phillies. only for Hooters, oh. Girls, and Strippers, even though, be even though he was not. <laughs> that was his best pickup I line. I once actually took out all my Little Genie's League. Genie's laughing at you. I took out all my Little League trophies, <laughs> and I put them all over. I had a condo in uh, South Florida when I was on the radio there. And there's a gal that I, who, right. she mm-hmm. danced for a living, mm-hmm. and I told her that I was the back of third baseman for the Phillies, and when she came to my apartment or a condo, I figured I better have something baseball related there. So I had a box of, like, when I was a kid, like the yoo trophy, you know, the Spearman double, whatever it was, right? And did Bazooka. she buy it? Yeah. And I put, like, 20 Little League trophies all over my apartment. She goes... And to her credit, she goes, well, you're really full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> I was like, I go to you who trophy. Backfired. I was nine years old. It sucks. Backfired. So Amazing. when you first see your pictures for the first time, are you, uh, do you look at it by yourself or like you with family going, all right, let's check them out together and get it over with? How was that for you? Well, the thing with SI, they keep it very uh, secret. So I didn't know what I looked like at all until yesterday morning. And I woke really? up at 6 a.m. and I Googled it to see what, I, what the pictures were. You so they don't even Canadian show it to, to you? Me. No, no, wow. no one. We get no say, no approval, obviously, but they don't even show us ahead of time because they want to keep it so secretive. Kate, yeah. can you demand photoshopping of, of these pictures or no? Do they do that a lot? I would be worried <laughs> about King that. Does Kate look like she needs what photoshopping? Do you photo- yeah, what I are you trying to say? I mean, say? that's I outrageous, Kate. <laughs> I'll tell you why. You've been on this program a lot of times and now he's talking about photoshopping with you? I'm going to tell you why. Oh, stop. Five years ago, uh, Playgirl came to me. Oh, come on. They offered me $10,000 to be on the cover of Playgirl. Which at the I'm time sure they was, did. At the time, was they were only doing four actual magazines a year, and the rest was digital. Mm-hmm. And we had an agreement in place where they wanted me to be on the cover, but I had to show my naked ass on the cover. Oh no God. full front or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. But they offered me $10,000 mm-hmm. to do it. And Boomer said you shouldn't do it. The company's like, don't do it. And they would, it's my only regret of 10 years of being at this radio station that I succumbed to them saying, no, I should have done it, and I wish I did. Mm-hmm. But I, my deal was... I have to get Photoshop approval of those pictures. <laughs> That's why I was wondering if you have that, but you guys don't get that. We get no, no, we get no say. When Nothing. they take the photos, those memory cards disappear. <laughs> That's it. And we only see the published images. When everyone else does. When everyone now, else does. Now, let's hear about your date from last night. This is a big deal for a lot of people. <laughs> oh, this amazing. guy, Gorky, whatever his name is, made a bet with you about the Super Bowl. He I did. guess on Twitter, right? Yes. And how great that you uh, lived up to it and they, I guess they flew the kid in here mm-hmm. and you went to a Nets game. Well, you know, we we, we were hoping we could turn their season around. Or Fair enough. Stop but, the streak, uh, but <laughs> that kid seems. I've only seen video. He seems so nervous, though, huh? Did he? On the video, I didn't hear him or talk to him, but he appeared like you're know, sitting there with his you know uh, polo jacket on. He's got like an ascot on, and, <laughs> and you're like, you came in with the the craziest jacket. What yeah. was that? Well, first of all, it it's it's, it's not real. Um, let me just say that yeah. <laughs> they're not 17 dead fox no, running uh, yeah. in the Canadian wilderness. <laughs> she made it right? herself. But you made you came in. That was like uh, 
the date is on and we are here. How you doing? I had to make it a real date, you know? Yeah. That was the bet. And, yeah. um, I mean, after all the media attention, our Twitter exchange got, I knew I could not back out. Like, I had to do it. So um, we just decided sooner rather than later. And I was in New York City. There was a, And I, th- I thought a basketball game would be also less awkward than a right. maybe formal one-on-one like dinner, dinner that, like, we have to make like, conversation every, hey, like... So you know. where are you from? Like, that kind of crap. Exactly. Right. You had, so that's why, like... I had 15,000 oh, people to protect totally me. Normal <laughs> right. But you could sit yeah. there and you could go five minutes and just watch see him not have to talk to him. Exactly. See, I don't think he looked nervous. <laughs> that dude is nervous, That man. looked like a great date. It's Everyone kind of my friends are actually like, oh my God, he's actually kind of good looking. Like, yeah. you picked someone you great. Yeah. Totally, right? You looked right? It could have been, it like, been anyone. It could have been anyone. Quasimodo. It could have been really bad, right? I was so scared when the Pats ended up winning because I, I went to actually look at his Twitter profile for the first time and his profile picture was Tiger Woods. So I was like, oh my God, it's one of these crazy fans. I don't even know what he looks like. Maybe it's actually Tiger Woods. looking guy. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, not a bad looking guy. So did you That's enjoy the age of Best date time? ever. Yeah. I mean, he's a couple years younger than me, yeah. so I felt a little cougar-ish. But um, besides- <laughs> <laughs> you're like 22 years old. Yeah, that's two. How old is he? He's 20. 20. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're not talking age- about cougar. Cougars get <laughs> much bigger, t- much bigger age differential. At my age, it seems big. Okay. <laughs> would you ever? Uh, and I don't mean to pry, but like, would you ever? But he do, will. Would you ever do that? Like, go on Twitter and I make a bet, and then uh date some straight str- friend. <laughs> I think guy. I'm going to learn from Jeannie's experience. It's got to be not very make public. Twitter dates. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you not make Twitter it, bets, if Sorry. you're going to do it, you got to pay off the way she paid it off. No, yeah, you got to follow through settings. No, yeah. I think like, it was smart. Safety first. Like completely. Like, totally. I want to meet you at a the small restaurant. No one's ever heard <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah, a little Come dive out. bar in the back alley. And we did background checks on him before anything. Oh, yeah. so. sure. That's how yeah. the met his wife. Met, actually. <laughs> Is there going to be a second date? Well, he 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 said, "Oh, like well, I hope we can see each other again." And I was like, you're "I hope like, so too." You're like, no shot. <laughs> so, nice. The old "I hope so too," but you so gave him polite. absolutely no way to get in touch with you. We we exchange numbers and, oh, and right. Snapchats. Did you give him a BS right. number? Damn. Be honest. No, Did no. Did you give him Craig's number? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> this guy keeps calling me. What's going on? I should I'm have. Interested. Oh my god, I should have. <laughs> no. Like we've all given out a fake number before. We've probably all gotten one. Well, you got you guys have probably. No, that's never happened to me. Given them out, I mean, not yeah. gotten them. I don't ask for a lot. Of and what's up with tennis? No. You're uh, when top fifty you in the world, right? Yeah. And uh, are you playing? Uh, what's the, what's the next tournament? Is it? Uh, we have Indian Wells and in Miami, the big ones, and then in the summer, uh, French Open, Wimbledon. Uh, so big Grand Slams. And you, at one point, you were what top ten, top five? I was five. Yeah, made finals of Wimbledon a couple of years ago. Um, well, you know, I had great success, and then it's like everyone expected me to then, you know, win every match after that, and um, it doesn't always happen like that. As right. in life, there's ups sure. and downs and everything, and uh, there was a lot of attention. Suddenly, a lot of negativity as soon as I couldn't replicate results, and it was a bit hard to deal with. So I had a a year that wasn't so good, um, and then since then, I've been I've been doing a bit better. Um, but I want to get back to where I was and even better for sure. So what is it? I imagine when you play singles, because you're out there by yourself, I imagine yeah. a lot of it's mental. Right? I, I mean, like, I say like, it's 90% mental. It is. Like <laughs> you do. can still play. Nothing you can't do. But you start getting inside your head and that became a problem. And that happens to a lot of athletes, right? For sure. And it's, it's crazy if you think about it how suddenly if I made finals of a Grand Slam that... I should make finals of every Grand Slam. You know what I mean? It's right, a lot. Expectations change. It's a lot harder than it seems. Um, you know, only someone like Serena can do that, pretty much. So um, I had to also realize that I couldn't put unrealistic expectations on myself because I felt so much pressure. I couldn't even. I couldn't even play anymore. Which is crazy, right? Because it's all you ever wanted to do, I imagine. Of course. And you're doing it, and you get really good at it, and then you all of a sudden you're a top five woman on the in the world, like yes. not in just a small little place like Canada. It's a little silly country. I mean, little, yes. But in the world, <laughs> a silly and, country. It is. Kate hates Canada. That's Excuse not true. Me? You have always told me when we talk privately that you're surrounded Can- by Canadians. That you should watch. I like ca- Canadian people. It's the country I don't like. Why? Because in 1812 they attacked us, and we oh, so even got no. We forget. We're this, so over Chris. that. Yes. They got on horses, and they, they, by the way, they were kicking our ass for a little while by too. The, by the way, the Canadians are so nice to us. And, and, it's not and, even really a country, though, is it? Yes, it is. It's more like a, it's like a province, like <laughs> no, Puerto Rico. No, it's not. No, it's not like Puerto Rico. It's, it's like an country. American province. Like, it is not. We get it's along. just it is like a great Puerto country Rico. with a lot of pride. They love their country. It's a lot of trees. No, it's a lot of trees. To be fair. I mean, listen, I, Justin Bieber's from Canada, so I have no problem with Canada. Is that the measuring really stick? That's, yeah, well, really, isn't that if scary? You think of, if you think of like the top five Canadian imports to this country, right? You'd have to say Jeannie. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Thank Jeannie. you. I'm going to take you out just because you're here. Because no, be, no, that's ridiculous. It'd be like I'm kissing her ass. Oh, you're here. You're top five. It's not true. Molson <laughs> Golden. True. Oh, you're going to talk about inanimate it's a great objects. Import. Also? It's a solid <laughs> import. Maple I think you have syrup. What Dan, else are you going to say? Dan Aykroyd. Canadian. John Candy. Canadian. All right, okay. Canadian. 
And then the fifth one's a tough one for me. Drake? I'd like to go Jim Carrey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mike Myers. I was going to say. Mike, Mike Myers. Myers mm-hmm. Two Come on, character we're... talent. Really? But great at those two characters. And then Drake. The thing about Ryan Drake. Ryan Gosling or like, Ryan Reynolds. We have Ryan. so many amazing options. Hold That's on. two for two. Great. Yeah. Let me tell Celine you Dion. Dion. Oh, no. yeah. Alanis no, Morissette. No I can continue. No, good. please. We got great I like Canadians. this Ryan Rossing, though. That's a good one. There you go. And Ryan Reynolds is pretty hot, too. Well, who would you take, Chris? Ryan Rossing or Ryan Reynolds? I'm if taking, you had a choice. I'm taking Genie. No, but it's Done. not, it's not a choice. Genie. Well, I'm sorry. You don't get to choose my choices. You don't. No. Do people do, I'm the governor. Who do you think do you are? Tennis players. <laughs> For like nine more months, you're governor. Let's let's start. Uh, I've been let's, governor for seven years. Scale carrying back the, you, I'm carrying your miserable chatter. career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine, nine months from now, I'd be like, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. It's all right. <laughs> Here's my question. Yes. Do tennis players like John McEnroe, or is he a pain in the ass? Uh, well, he does commentary now. That, I know, that's uh, yeah. what I'm asking. Is, okay. he, is he, like, do people still love John McEnroe? Like, do they oh, ever love John McEnroe? Well, that's the thing. I think it's kind of a love-hate relationship with him. Mm-hmm. But I actually really like his commentary. I find it um, very detailed and insightful, mm-hmm. although he can be very hard on, on the players. Do I mean, you play doubles at all or no? No, I'm not a team player. That's why I play tennis. Oh, I see. There you go. I like <laughs> that. Modeling's the same way, though, Kate, isn't go. it? Uh, sometimes you work with other girls well, or really guys. Or, yeah, know. mostly solo, though. Right. Well, listen, yeah. it's always good seeing you, Kate. Um, and what page are you on? Did you guys not bring me a magazine? Do I not have it here? I do want to ask you this question. There's three covers. Now, last year you did the one, one whoever the very attractive, slim gal Haley was. Haley Clausen. Haley Clausen, great. Mm-hmm. Then you did the full-figured gal. Ashley Graham. Ashley Graham, which was a big to-do. Like, you know, she's a heavy-set gal, but, you know, not all women come in, you know, one shape or size. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I mocked it at some point, but... Yeah, I'm um, confident so, of that. But she's a beautiful woman. But she it was is? like they went. A, I'd his, move on if I were you. No, I'm saying they go to go to cover number three. Just, yeah, I'm just he's just move digging. No, I'm saying it's very yeah. like when Playboy move goes on. no more nudes. It's like what are you move thinking? On. When SI first said, "Here's a heavy set gal," mm-hmm. the reaction How was, many "What different are you other guys ways doing?" You're gonna describe but well, this but woman. it's move on. more than any other one because it was representative of real people. And then the third one, I think, was Ronda Rousey. It was Ronda Rousey, right? The athlete, yes. The athlete, right there. This year. The rumor was that Kate Upton put on some hissy fit about the cover and made a big to-do about it, and that's how she got all three covers. Now, she's a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She's also not your waif-type model, so she kind of represents both. But don't you think we should have put three separate covers? Wouldn't that have been great? Like, Jeannie goes on a cover, you go on a cover. I I think it would have been better if it were Jeannie and I. Yes. Yes. Right. All right. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever get a cover, Kate? Is totally. It, is Come on. To of course she will. Believe it. You have to think get a cover. Think it, say it, do it. Is it true that as a model, your career will not be fulfilled if you don't get a cover? I feel that way about you. I think you should be on the cover. You feel that way. Yes. Um, I mean, I think my career is pretty solid. No, 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 that uh, came across incorrectly. I think she's doing yeah. okay. Uh, yeah, you um, took that the wrong way. What I'm saying is, you should, Kate up that shouldn't get three covers, you should get a cover. I think saying. that you should start a campaign. Is there anyone here from SI that I can talk to, Al, about this cover situation? No one wants to yeah, raise their hand. Yeah, let's make this happen. Hand. No one wants to and come all forward. Sudden, all of a sudden, everyone represents the tennis player. Everyone's stuck. <laughs> I think it's the woman yeah. with the black sweater back well, there. Well, listen, here's She the looks deal. very self-conscious. <laughs> Check out Sports Illustrated. I used to be a prosecutor. I can pick this stuff out. There you go. There's always, the guilty um, party right there in the black sweater. <laughs> You're the one who gave in to Kate Upton, aren't you? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. You screwed Jeannie and, uh, and, and all the other women, and you just <laughs> given in to Kate Upton. She's already married to Jace, Justin Verlander. Doesn't she have enough? I know Nina Aguilar was pissed about it. I know that. In any event, Kate Bach, good to see you again. Nice to see Always you. Always happy here. And Ginny, thank you. Thank you. And good luck. Maybe we'll see you at the U.S. Open. Yeah, we will. Now, here's my question before I let you go. Yes. If the governor or I happen to see you, and we were not together where you could immediately put us together, oh, I was on that radio show, those are the guys, and I was just like in the crowd. I was like, Ginny! <laughs> Do you think you'd remember me? Go, oh, Craig Carton from the radio. Or you'd be like, get the lunatic out of here. I would for sure remember you. This was very memorable. Would you remember Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey? (laughs) I would have remembered him even if I wasn't here this morning. So so. you get to the memes. Yes. (laughs) Oh, that's the internet guy. Yeah, there's the guy with the awful things they say about him. Here, that make us laugh because we feel bad for him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. When they told you you were coming here, did you remember having been here five times? Duh. I just want to make sure. I don't know if we're on on your mind. Here's why Craig's upset about this. Back at the beginning of his career when he was in Cleveland, he was very good friends, he claims, oh, was yeah. Bill Belichick. He's my best friend. When Belichick was the head coach of the Browns at the time. But mm-hmm. now Belichick acts like he doesn't even know him. 
Oh, so now everybody crushing. who comes in, so that's sucks. why he's he's hurt by so, now. Jeannie, so that's why I asked you, because like, you're famous, you're you're an athlete, and he's going to say to friends, and we know I know Jeannie now, and then we're we go friends, to, we yeah. go to the U.S. Open, and he, you know he sees you, and it's Jeannie, and you're like, I'll give him the cold shoulder. Yeah, like you give him the no. It's, <laughs> you know it'll, it'll, you'll bring back say? Belichick to him. I'm going to text you to go like this. I'm going to go. Yeah, Jeannie left tickets for me. <laughs> Where are yeah, my tickets? By the way, Cole Bouchard, my tickets. Her, t- her tickets she's leaving for you in the U.S. Open are all the way up in the upper deck, so she have to see you. At least I'm in the building. Or, or, hear, or hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Well, I'm doing it's nice today. meeting you. And congrats so nice to meet on being you. in the magazine. And good luck uh, with the tennis career as well. Thank you. And Kate, always good seeing you. Thank you for being a Thank good sport. Thank you. Is the big party tonight or no? It is, yes. Yeah. Nice. Chris, you want to go? Uh, tonight? I have two tickets if you'd like to go. I'm sorry, I can't you go. Are, oh, you're going to the White House again. I have to go to Washington yeah. tonight. Jesus. I'm sorry. He's a meatloaf date. <laughs> no, I'm not a meatloaf dick, but I could be if you wanted me to be. That's, that's the way you go. You have that versatility. It's on stands now. They also Get have it. pumpkin ravioli. Mm. Which is a, an abuse of the pumpkin. No one abuse needs to put, of the pumpkin? You don't need to put crap in ravioli other than regatta cheese and maybe some broccoli rob. You don't want a pumpkin ravioli? I do not want pumpkin in my ravioli. Oof. No. It's Fall too bougie. festive harvest. Would you have thing? foie gras too? I did not <laughs> have it. My wife, so you want to mock my wife for having the pumpkin ravioli? <laughs> I do. You'll deal with her later. I will. No problem. Hey, Swimsuit Edition 2017. Kate Upton's on the cover. The girls are in it as well. Definitely check it out. And to everyone that came by, we appreciate that. Si is always being a part of it. And thank you for coming to the studio. Boomer wishes he could be here. But you know he, but he doesn't care. only works four day weeks these days. Thank you. <laughs>